Hello everyone, and this is a quick review of the latest beta version of Google Chrome. Not a lot of people have been talking about this really, I just stumbled across it on a on a forum. And it's the latest build which is, let me see here about Google Chrome, 3.0.193.0 that is the latest build people have been talking about the 187.1 I believe because there was a problem with the point zero of that build because it kept crashing on Windows or something but this one is the latest of the latest that they have released yet so I'm just going to be doing a quick review of it you can see there's a few different interface tweaks when you start it up there's not really much on the side of features there's a few new little tweaks in the features but it's mostly bug fixes and stability and performance based modifications that they've done with this build apart from the fact that you, you probably can't notice it on like on this small video here but you can see there's uh, the text on the bookmarks up here it's just slightly more shadowed and it gives it just like a nice effect against I think they've tinted the color a bit up here it's it's a very small tweak but for some reason I notice it it's strange but it, it was quite nice and apart from that that's small tweaks going on there apart from that we've got this new new tab thing when you start it up you've got all the tabs that you've been recently using like the websites that you frequently visit recent activities and such and this is the new version for Google Chrome 3 and in Google Chrome 3 you get this new screen here and instead of just having it in this grid view like you do normally you get tips and suggestions which shows you sites which you may like and you get like all the recent activities and you can customize it here you've got like all of the recent ones which highlight as you go over them like I'm doing there or you can click this button and it puts it into a list view which you can just use or you can hide the recent activities down there or you can hide recommendations you can do both or you could show both or whatever you want to do so it's a little bit customizable it's a better layout and the it's just it's quite nice Apart from that, there's not really any real differences. You still got the incognito. Um, apart from that, there's no there's no real changes in the interface. It the the speed obviously doesn't show much difference. Apparently, the speed is much faster than that of Google Chrome 2. I haven't really noticed it, but then it's we're talking milliseconds, so you wouldn't really. But it is the fastest browser that I have used. Apart from that. As, um obviously like you get directions to the official websites which is quite good you can pin these as well you can pin it there so that it stays there as well and you can or you can just get rid of them apart from that if I type in Eiffel Tower for instance it comes up with a search result here it's got these little icons now so you've got a search result and this is a web result like a official website which is the official um, Eiffel Tower website there. See this is the official website. Or for instance if I type in Win it comes up with Win Supersite, Paul Farrett Supersite for Windows which I went on earlier which is there you can see that's the website. You've got Google search for Win. Um, you've got all of my favorites like um, the favorite bookmarked applications you've got the all of my bookmarks are on the, either on the tab or in the folders there and these three are in there you've got the stars showing that and you've got the website one here and then you can press that and then it goes to all of the other results 53 others and whatever from there so apart from that there's not much real difference but it is it is good to try out see if you can find any other f other tweaks in it apart from the ones that I showed uh, I got it from filehippo.com great website that shows all of the latest versions of pretty much everything here it is new Google Chrome 3.0.193.0 beta and it's got the latest build there of other browsers you've got Firefox 3.5 latest builds of LimeWire 
and all sorts of things you got uh, this is where also I used to get all of the latest builds and beta versions of Windows Live Messenger as well before the 2009 edition came out so it is a very up-to-date website and I haven't seen anywhere that's talked about this build in particular of Google Chrome yet and I do think you should try it out so filehippo.com